humble opinion. Welcome to Copy with Chris yet again, and I am your host, Chris Hansen. Beauty is only skin deep, but looking good and feeling fabulous is a need for many people. It certainly is for me. Whether it's about your complexion, your nails, your hairstyles, or your clothes, bespoke or off the rack, the beauty and fashion industry have been serving us and thriving for a good many years. But with what has happened globally with this pandemic, we've seen businesses shuttered and the beauty and fashion industry has not been spared. So today, like the previous three episodes, having had Kopi Wikakis from three other sectors, we will be speaking with some players and from the fashion and beauty industry and how they've been coping during the circuit breaker. So let's bring my Kopi Kakis on to introduce themselves one by one. Hi, Gary. Hello. Hi, welcome to Kopi with Chris. How have you been today? I'm good. How are you? Ah, of course, I'm good. Can, of course, be better if things were, if we all could meet personally, right? Yeah, face yeah, to face. yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, instead of a 2D screen, but this will do for now. So, Gary, tell everyone, uh, what do you do? Well, um, I'm actually a uh, tailor and an image consultant. So, what I do is I guide my clients what to wear, how to wear for different uh, events like speed dating, weddings, or for job interview. So, when I, what I do is I input image consultation. Then after that, I do the clothes out because uh, I have my own tailors that could actually uh, get the clothes out as well. So, it's a holistic approach, like a two-in-one thing. Yeah. Okay, so you, you provide the image consultancy and then after that, you also do the measurements and then you send up everything to a tailor that you rely on, depend on, um, well, basically trust yes. to get the job done for your customers, yeah? Correct, yeah. Okay, okay. We're going to bring on the rest. And we have <laughs> with us a diva, a divine diva in her own right, and she's Alia D. Welcome, Alia, to Kopi with Chris. And thank you for being my Kopi Kaki today. Hello. Good, yes. good, good. <laughs> I like your cup. Have <laughs> <laughs> you got your drink? Okay. What's in that drink today? Um, pandan tea. Mm. Wow, pandan tea. Mm, pandan tea. Nice really? Tea. Yeah, now, yes, how yes. is it? Of all the darn teas I've had, huh? I've never oh. had pandan tea. You have pranakan, right? Yeah, that doesn't mean yeah? you drink pandan tea. I've never no. had pandan tea in my life. Well, you should try it. You should try it. It's a very popular uh, amongst the pranakans also. They love pandan tea. Is that right? Mm. I'm not going to ask my mom that question. Yeah, pandan well, tea yeah. with no kwe kwe. <laughs> I, I well, use I know. pandan for my aga aga. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. But you can put pandan inside your tea. I Fair use enough. pandan in the back of my car to keep the cockroaches out. So, <laughs> <laughs> Which is, the only thing that comes to mind is that. And then now they come to think of it, maybe nasi lemak lah, yeah? That's pandan, yeah. Right, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes, yeah. Yes, okay, yes, I'm so yes, lousy yes. at these kind of things. Okay, Alia, can you tell everyone uh, what you do? Okay, um, I am the creator of um, Alia D Reps, or you can also call it It's a Rep. Uh, it's a, basically, I create um, hit reps for ladies or anybody who wants to use hit reps. So it's, it's, it's exactly what I'm wearing right now. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's, it's quite. It's resplendent, quite resplendent. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite popular in uh, amongst the um, African uh, ladies. Mm, um, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. So um, I've decided that, you know, I think that um, in Asia, we could just pull this off as well because um, there's so many ladies out there who is, um, you know, either uh, it's for either religious purposes or either it's for, you know, hair loss uh, of some sort, you know. Um, they can, instead of just using a cap or so be creative, like, basically. I'm just, you know, try to bring uh, creativity into this fashion. Yeah, but the thing is, is that you call it head wrap. Yeah. Why isn't it called a turban? Why is it called okay. a head wrap? Or is it something okay. you concocted? I, I, I don't call it head wrap. It's called a head wrap. It is? So it is universally called, called a head wrap? Yes, it's called a head wrap. So it's, a turban is a turban, a head wrap is a head wrap. Head wrap is a piece of cloth, uh, the width and the, uh, the length is a certain, certain width and certain length, and then right. they wrap it up in different styles. 
So right. you don't call this style a uh, a uh, 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 turban. You call it just like a. I have a funny feeling. She thinks I'm trying to rip her the wrong way, but. No la, no, no. <laughs> but maybe no, I, I am. am. <laughs> No, no, but honestly, it's the misconception of it all. Everybody right, thinks right. it's like a. It, they call it like, oh, you wear turban, ah, you wear turban. No, <laughs> I don't wear turban. I wear a head wrap. <laughs> totally you know, different thing. So you call okay? Hang on. So what's the business yeah. called? Alia D wraps or it's Alia D wraps. Alia D wraps. Alia D wraps. Yeah. So it's not it's a wrap. It's Alia uh, no. D wraps. Yeah, it's called Alia D wraps. Alia D is my name, right? Right, and, right, right, right. Yeah. So. Why people some some people say uh uh I thought it's called it's a rap it's a rap I say it's a rap is basically a motto, right? So basically, so it's like a when so I what we say up, when we wrap up the show it's a rap yeah right? it's a rap yeah so basically when you're done, uh doing dolling up on the you know uh, getting ready to go out you know you the last thing you do is your hair first you do your makeup and then your hair right yeah but the, so, the funny the funny thing is is that I heard about it's a rap from the very beginning mm-hmm. anyway so originally yeah. called it's a rap I thought it was a burrito shop but never mind yes I know uh, I remember <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> mentioning it to you no disrespect way no. <laughs> no disrespect so. just trying to yank your chain or I'm trying to yank your your wrap I hope it's tightly put on okay but never mind oh, uh, it's very tight <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I might say, I, I want to say this, your raps have always been beautiful. I, I love Thank them. I love Thank them. you very much. Yeah, Thank really, you. really, I do. Uh, okay, uh, can we bring on our next guest, please? Here we go. And there you go! Finally, he's here. All my cockies are here. You made it! And welcome to the show, Jenny, Jen. And, and you've got... I was just waiting. You were just waiting? You just, okay, okay. You know why? The producers lost the key to unlock the door to come into my room. <laughs> Room, okay, house, house, it rooms, looks, looks bad really connotations nice. there. Okay, uh, now, uh, okay, so uh, Jen is here, and what's that you've got? I've got uh, my prettiest cup that I could find in the house. <laughs> Usually, thank used you for, for doing that. Used for what, sorry? Usually, also, this is teacup. Uh, okay, but okay. I have, I have a double shot of espresso in this. With lots of condensed milk. That's how I like my. <laughs> Plenty Hardcore. of core. Hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> and what's what's that? What's that around the the the, the, the dish? Cookie. Oh, horrible you are! <laughs> and what cookies no. are those? No, I say horrible because I'm not having anything. Darn. Okay, <laughs> but you can go ahead and you can go ahead and munch all you want, yeah. But you see, Mona, you get someone who's just topped you. And getting yeah. a heart attack, you know what I mean? You <laughs> <laughs> double shot of espresso right. with with condensed milk. My this goodness! Is really, this is this would be my third and fourth shot. Wow! What? Wow! And you're feeling long. fine? And you're yeah. feeling fine? You're not getting any palpitations or anything like that? No, no jitters. Really? No, I can sleep with caffeine. No problem. Okay, okay, okay. Wow. Now I'm gonna tell you what's in my cup. Yes, go on. I've been saying this over the last two episodes. The big reveal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, this, yes. ladies and gentlemen, is a fat burning coffee. Burning and there's coffee. silence. All of a sudden, there's that, crazy that, silence. That, Why? That, What's wrong with me doing this? Is that what? green coffee or something? No, it's not. It's just fat it's burning coffee. coffee. And then, when I say that, everyone goes stop silent. We were, yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for the punchline. What punchline? <laughs> <laughs> The punchline was your silence. My goodness, I wish I wasn't expecting. What's so difficult? What is so wrong with, or difficult to understand? And what's wrong with drinking fat burning coffee, man? It's been working, I think. What's a okay. fat burning coffee? Yeah. I mean, I heard coffee yes. old, uh, yeah, coffee right. You know something, Gary, 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 I, we, I told you earlier on when we met for the tech, the tech uh, 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 session, I told you there's only two us guys here. Surrounded oh. by a bevy of women, okay? And I'm just going to ask you, you're not married, right? Are you married? Yeah, I am. Okay, okay. I don't know about <laughs> you, but whatever the wife buys and puts in your cup, you don't you argue. Drink it. You just don't drink it. Even if there's arsenic in it, no you just drink asked. it. Yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, don't, don't, don't ask any questions because there could be some arsenic and you're just hoping that it just, you know, it doesn't That's it. <laughs> fat burning coffee, yeah? So, uh, um, yeah, so anyway, Jen, watch your heart, will you? <laughs> what, what, watch my heart? Watch your heart, you know? 
Yeah, the jitters and all that. My goodness. Anyway, Jen, you have, you see this lovely background behind you. That's uh, yes. it's, that's your, yes, your business's name, right? It's called Ulo. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can you tell us? Can you tell us about what you do and what is Ulo? Yes, we are Singapore's best kept secret. So simply put, we're a booking platform that if you want um, to save a little bit of money, get rewarded for your time. Come to Ulo, book everything, your beauty services through us, and you will find that you get lots of savings, which is oh, very important. Oh. So, so what, kind of, what do you mean by savings? Discounts or rebates? or How mm. does it work? We work. Um, we work both based off a win-win situation. So we have users, our two clients are our users and, and our um, provider partners. So we mm -hmm. come together so that uh, we get the providers to offer you a discount when you when users go to them at their off peak hours. So this is for, for just products or also services? Services. But basically we are a, a booking app for lifestyle services. So, so services, any products involved mm -hmm. in this? To keep it simple, we're happy hour. Everybody knows the concept of happy hour when you go down to the pub, you know, to restaurants, happy hour means that you get certain kind of rebates at that time. But we are we are this we are happy hour for lifestyle services. So, so do you we have, know, But it's happy hour all the time. No la <laughs> it's not sustainable happy Nobody hour. Nobody rings a bell. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. No, 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 no one does that. So basically, we go to our provider partners and then um, they not, all businesses naturally have their off-peak periods. So our concept right. is that we want a sustainable way that, you know, you cannot always offer discounts. Because if the providers go, you know, it doesn't work anyway for you, right? You need to sustain your providers and then you enjoy the Enjoy of course, of course, walk. it has to be win-win, no matter what it is. I mean, exactly. people people don't do something for free or for cheap if there's no exactly. winning, winning combination exactly. somewhere. <laughs> when they offer things for me for free, I'm like, oh. really? Am I going to get half, you know, service for the half price? I'm always asking myself. You know, I, you know, the way she put it across, I just, a lot of thoughts come across my head, but I just cannot say it on air because it's just <laughs> going to be, I'm going to be banned eventually. Okay. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Jen. Okay. Now, just to let you know, Jen, uh, and as I yeah. said to Mona earlier, because you two got lost somewhere in the cyber highway, right? You were on the ECP version of, this, of the cyber highway. And, uh, I was waiting. I was really waiting. I thought I was really good, you know? Okay, so you're the second person my, my producer tried to throw away the key, you know? But, uh, yeah, then... no, it was the same thing, and then I got picked out. Oh, see? You terrible, know? you yeah. people. Yeah, Yo, producers, time. what's wrong with you guys? Okay, anyway. Anyway, you're here. and We were not deliberately yeah. keep, keeping you out. Yeah, you're here. You're here. And I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you're having your favorite drink with me. So, Gary, um, so now, what, when did this thing hit us, I mean, you didn't expect it to, to happen like most of us, right? Did you have to throw all your plans out the window? Well, uh, to be frank, it's about 50% of the plans because it's not only me. Um, when I do tailoring, I need the fabric suppliers. I need my tailors. So, if I'm... If I'm stuck, so does the tailors and the fabric suppliers because they can't operate. Uh, it's a good and bad thing in a way that weddings are being postponed, so they don't need their outfit that fast. So we still have a bit of a leeway. But of course, there are clients who want to do up their shirts because although it's a uh, circuit breaker time, there are people who still work, there are people who still meet clients. They need to wear clothes. They need yeah. their shirts, their jacket, their pants, but... Unfortunately, they, they can't, get, uh, they can't uh, get their clothes from me because of uh, circuit breaker. So that's one thing. Uh, the other side is the image consultation part. Of course, we can't, I can't do window shopping with them, but everything is done through uh, Zoom, whether it's one-to-one -one or when I do my talks with uh, companies. Yeah. So it's about getting used to it, making the best out of it, and hope that you know, um, the CB gets lifted up real soon so that everyone can get back on their lives again. Yeah. You said something interesting. You said something about suppliers. I want to talk about suppliers in a while uh, because mm. some of you guys, I don't know, but some of you are impacted by this because supply chains are an issue, right? Yeah. Um, and, but Gary, about weddings though, yeah. on my other program, on the other show that we do, it's called In Our Humble Opinion, we were talking about uh, weddings today that's now virtual. 
So has that been happening for you? Have clients, have, have there been clients who said that I'm going to get married virtually and come over to you to have their, their clothes done? You, don't, you, you, you also image consult for ladies and also tailor for ladies' outfits, right? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. So have you been experiencing something like that, that there's, gonna, there's been a trend slowly starting that people are in Singapore can now get married um, virtually? Um, there are two types of uh, clients. One is they want to, they don't mind to wait maybe like half a year later to go through the whole process because it's one in a lifetime thing. Um, the other group is that they want to uh, do it virtually so that maybe they, they need the uh, cert to, to get a, a house or something like that. So they do it online. But even though if they do it online, they still need to wear clothes. Yeah, 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 correct. So, so that's what I'm saying. So yeah. have you been experiencing at least some, some semblance of recovery of sorts, you know, where you still have people, hey, Gary, I want to get married, you know, and I'm going to get married real soon and I'm going to have my suits. And they're, hey, business as usual. Have you been experiencing things like that? Yeah, I, I still have uh, new clients and regular clients. They WhatsApp me saying that when can I start my business again so that they can, you know, uh, get their clothes done. But the problem you have is that your tailors are closed. Correct. So it's not only me, uh, the fabric supplier and the tailors as well. And sometimes when we do suits, we need uh, the jacket lining, the buttons, all these are considered yeah. like supplier chain, which mm. they are... Uh, on uh, which they are not working right now. So, so right. it's a little bit tricky, and, but we'll see how things go. Yeah. And on that note, we're talking about suppliers. Uh, Mona, yeah. I read somewhere uh, that one of the impacts of the fashion and beauty industry is that cosmetic makers are having challenges with the uh, supplies or rather with the materials they need to come up with uh, new cosmetics. Um, right. And especially, especially when it's got to do, because cosmetics must come with scent, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they're having challenges getting the right chemicals, you know, supplied to them to get these things done. Have you been experiencing any slowdown in, in, in from the people you get your supplies from in terms of, you know, what's available out there? Yeah, I think, you know, uh, because I do connect with big YouTubers that, you know, obviously are not from Singapore and things like that, right? And, you know, they are all talking about if they are, if they have created a product, let's just say that was supposed to be launched and we are waiting for, you know, uh, stuff to be shipped to us so we could do product review and things like that, right? Like all that is delayed and, you know, shipping has stopped worldwide and things like that. So obviously I think for us as makeup artists and makeup coaches and things like that. I feel like we are obviously, it, you're kind of stuck in a bit of a rut, you know, because you, you want to review new products. You want to, you know, be a little bit more creative, but it gets a little bit hard when you can't get your supplies on time and you want to talk about different products as well, right? So all these things do create delays in whatever you want to come up with in terms of creativity, right? So. And I know there's this one of the big YouTubers that I know personally, like she just came up with a skincare product that all of us are just waiting to try and review and, you know, create some kind of content for ourselves as well. But we can't because, you know, um, because of the pandemic that's going on now, you yeah. know, but it's just, it's part and parcel. I almost feel like, like, you know, Gary said, it's not just us that's feeling this way or experiencing this, it's everybody. Um, Jen, yours is a digital platform business yeah yeah you are not you're not basically the person that does fashion and beauty but you are in the industry supplying all the services and some products correct mm -hmm. and you're already on a digital sphere but mm -hmm. earlier on we talked about you know i i heard i heard more for coming out from you that oh my this has been this pandemic has been what's the word you used to real um, yeah and, 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 wow, that was clearly heard. I think every one of us heard you there. Mm -hmm. But you're on a digital platform. Now, how did this really impact your business, Ulo? A, a lot, actually. I would say that we, when, um, when CB was announced, uh, we couldn't really carry on. <laughs> because all our provider, our partners are all impacted. Uh, we can't so, run campaigns to say yeah. it's okay. Come and use the services because so it's you not guys, right. you guys are like Airbnb. 
very affected. Pretty much. Right. We're right. very much affected. And we what what we've actually been throughout this, um, we've actually been into quite a bit of hibernation. So a lot of our plans, say up to 90% of our plans have been impacted. Have and, you um, thought, mm, sorry, yes, yes, please go on. Well, it's 90%, but we, I, we don't think that it is... Um, I think in a way for me personally, it's been, it's been good because we've been with our, uh, we've, we've been with our partners. So they can't run for business. So we hibernate and be a little bit more subdued and not be too forward, um, which is, I think, which is good. You mean in your marketing? Hmm. Is that what Basically, you're saying? Basically, everything down. Um, and you're, re- you're just waiting for the period to be better so you can pounce on the marketplace. Yes, pretty much. We're, we're, we're going to jump tomorrow. Tomorrow? When we do a countdown for three days. So nice. You're on my show today and you're going to pounce <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yes, you will pounce can, tomorrow. I, can Chris Hansen offer you a nicer term for that so you can make it known? Don't say jump. Lah. Bounce. Bounce. Pounce. Ah. We'll pounce. Ah. Much of so one tenter. Right? Pounce. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah, but I'm glad. I'm glad you're going to be doing that tomorrow. But why tomorrow? I mean, why is it because we heard that next week? I mean, next week we're out of circuit breaker, but then again, truly, mm. but we are we out supposedly. Really honest, right? um, I'm, I'm very worried because you know when I tell my team that okay, this is the date we need to do this. The last time we did right, it got extended by a month. <laughs> so, so it's like. Let's, yeah. let's not plan things too much first. Yeah. I'm know? not laughing so because I'm disrespecting this, yeah? yeah? Yeah, I'm laughing because, you know, I think a lot of people got stuck in that conundrum because, exactly. you know, so many businesses, they're just, okay, 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 it's going to end now, we're just going to go. And then, sorry, you know, no. then the magic cup comes up and he speaks a different language after taking a sip. But never mind, he told everybody that cannot happen, you know? So, uh, am I going to get in trouble for that? I don't think so, but never mind. <laughs> um, the thing is, is that, then, then everyone got thrown this thing. Mm. I don't blame them. You know, I, I think it wasn't wrong because why? Um, look, yesterday we had zero local community spreads. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, don't get me wrong. I always have to say this and qualify this. I really do sympathize and empathize with the migrant workers. Yeah. But the mm. community spread has been zero yesterday. Today, just out about five minutes ago, I don't think you mm-hmm. guys saw it, but you know, I multitask when I do shows like this. Uh, yeah. We have three community spreads today. Right. Mm. Okay, community infection. So it's, it's, it's three persons. So we're still in single digit. Um, mm. And hopefully it goes off this way. And based on the announcement yesterday that was made, uh, we might just see phase two happening after the first two weeks of June. In mid-June, yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And the gyms yeah. will be open again. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, I was like having such withdrawal symptoms. It's ridiculous. I'm such a gym rat. Uh, that's why last week we spoke to our friends from the fitness industry. Anyway, uh, I wish you all the best. I, I, I don't worry about it, man. Take a deep breath and pounce like one harimau. You know, you know harimau? Okay. Yeah, so I see like what idea is. Like, yeah, just, just go for it. You know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, I think um, I think it's, it's a good idea what you've done with uh, the platform for, with, uh, for Ulo. And uh, I think it's, it's look, it's, it's going to fly. So don't worry about it. Okay. We, we hope so. Essentially, our concept is that we started this, uh, the app concept is for it to be a sustainable business model that everyone likes a discount. Um, we want to put it, we want to be a platform that has longevity. Sure. So we don't believe in giving one first time discounts. But I like, to leave, I, I, I like to leave this uh, 50 year old brain uh, and experience with you. Uh, keep the you business. Should try our platform next keep- time you need. When I, when I when when I when I went okay never mind um, <clears throat> I'll ask my <laughs> wife to look into it she does oh. all the facial for me yeah so yeah 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 I mean I'm very lucky you know I can always say home there I get all the face stuff you might want to, you want you might want to change your look a little bit get a new hair color hey, and... hey that's Gary oh. Fu's job man that's Gary <laughs> Fu's job <laughs> I'm still here he's still here yeah he blesses me in this man yeah okay anyway uh, anyway I just want to say um. Uh, just stay nimble. Yes. Yeah, we I are... think a lot of lessons to be learned. And I, I've been speaking to, to, I've spoken to three industries so far. And it's, we're still going to go on for a bit uh, until until n- another one or two episodes. So I would tell you that um, if anything at all that we've learned is that the people, that the businesses that we thought that will not work because they're too niche oriented, 
actually mm -hmm. became the ones that turned out the to heroes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those that, you know, cater to the masses, those are the ones that really, really got impacted. Yeah. So we got to remain nimble. So it's a good lesson for businesses to learn. You got to stay yeah. nimble. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let me just go to Madam Alia, my favorite diva. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I've discovered that It's a Rap is now called Alia D Rap. Uh, it has heard, always been called. It's always been called Aliyah Rap. I don't know. I, I keep saying it's a rap, and I kept thinking it's a new burrito store. But never mind. <laughs> oh, <no way. laughs> <laughs> but 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 I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Uh, Aliyah is a person I've known for a while, and I can tell you she's one of the nicest people that I've ever met. Oh. Yeah yeah. yeah. So I'm sweet. saying I'm putting it out there. I always do things like that. You're gonna own show. I'm gonna take advantage of stuff. I'm gonna say things is on my mind. Oh. So it's a fact, you know. And. And, um, and she's worked hard to, to bring up, you know, this concept of hers, as she mentioned earlier in the show. Um, and um, i just like to understand, it's, it's, a, it's a very new business, actually. Yes. Right? It's how, long, how, how, old is, how old is it? It's only been a year. Yeah. It's a, it's One a year. Business. Yeah. Only a yeah. year. So, so basically, I started out this business before, well, last year, um, I had a, I was doing something else before doing um, this full time. So um, I had a, I had a permanent job, right? Um, I still do. I still have a permanent job. It's just everything's on hold right now. So it's very difficult to get out there. But besides, but you know, I decided that actually a year ago, I decided that I should do something else for myself, you know, and I, I'm, a, I love fashion. So, um, I, I thought and I, and that's why I came up with hit reps, you know? So everything that, uh, that's in my business, I do it on my own. So basically I, I sew it on my own and, and oh, you do? yeah, I sew everything on my own. Oh, that's so, new to me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, you know, I, I, I operate online. So basically everything, uh, everything is done online. Um, I've got a Instagram, I've got, you know, a website, you know, but the only thing that, that uh, is a challenge for me is creating new content. Okay, so basically, mm. at this pr uh, point of time, e at this present moment, everybody's on their cell phone, everybody's online, everybody's on their, their social media. So you need to, as somebody who's, who's starting out, right, for me, I need to get the audience um, interested. So I have to create lots and lots of interesting content. So that's where I have tutorials. I have, you know, um, get into the new, um, how do I say it? Uh, get everybody interested in this fashion of mine, you know? So I was lucky. I was lucky that, that um, most of the girls who decided or they want to try the hit reps, most of them, um, you know, were worried about not having their hair colored or the hair dyed or the hair cut, you know, so they decided, say, hey, maybe I should just wrap my hair, you know, so I was quite lucky, lah, basically, so everybody wanted to try my hit wraps, you know, so. I, I think what's marvelous, what's marvelous about Leah's business is that even for ladies who are struck down with cancer and they have to go yeah, for yeah. chemotherapy, mm -hmm. yes. it's a yeah. real wonderfully fashionable way yeah. of making sure that they still keep that sense of beauty you know, yeah. with her head wraps. And I think that's been marvelous. I've Personally, I've witnessed that for myself, you know, and I think it's a marvelous, marvelous idea. And that's not just the only thing. It's, 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 also, it's also true that uh, it can be fashionable. And I've seen some of her tutorials and, and there's so <laughs> many styles that you can tie that, I always say turpentine. she hates it when I say, okay, um, <laughs> head wrap. <laughs> head wrap, <laughs> not turpentine. <laughs> You see what I mean? Well, anyway, so so it's it's great, you know. I mean, there's so many styles, but one thing for 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 viewers and listeners, uh, as, and also for the rest of our guests here, our Kopi Kakis, is this: you must know this. Aliyah is an amazing singer. She is a personality, mm -hmm. and anything that sells. One thing that I I've also learned, you know, by watching all my friends and people I know, personality sells. Yeah. Yes. That's Personal true. branding is everything. Yes. Right? And Aliyah is a personality. This woman's a, wi a, 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 a live wire. 
Yeah. You know, so even if you watch her on um, on her, you know, on her IGTV or you know uh, the, her demos and all that, she's just full of life. You know, there's this person that is wonderfully, you know, suited to the camera, wonderfully suited on stage, and who's talented. She sings like a better than a bird. I can tell you that. Uh, yeah, really, really. I kid you not. This, this, this. She's scary when I I sing, and I'm too I'm too afraid to sing next to her. I will, I will, yeah, yeah, it's, it's true. I will say it. It's, it's the truth. But that her personality brings the rap business to another level, frankly. Yeah. And I, I just want to share that because I, I know uh, Gary personally uh, uh, for some time. I know Aaliyah longer. And I will just tell you that her personality, her personality sells those raps. So, Madam mm -hmm. Aaliyah, don't worry, okay? Thank you. Uh, it's still moving the way it's supposed to move. So yeah. anyway, did, when, but did the circuit breaker impact your business at all? Uh, impacted in a good way. Ah, okay. Yeah, in a good way. How so? Uh, well, I have more, more viewers, people, you know, they just want to relax at home, you know, and then they go into Instagram and then they happen to scroll and they see a video of mine, you know, and they recognize, some of them will recognize who I am, you know, um, from uh, you know, I used to sing, uh, so they will, hey, isn't that Aliyah? Isn't that Aliyah? So they are interested on what I do. So once they are interested on what I do, they, I need to influence them. I need to get them to like what I do, right? So I need to, I need to sell them. So, so um, yeah, I go on, I go live. Uh, I teach them how to rap, get all the girls in, uh, involved. You know. Um, give a lot of positive messages, you know, uh, those who are losing, you know, hair loss, you know, and stuff like that. So eventually, um, they, they are interested and they, they, will, they will order from me and then, um, and I walk, I, I, I go step by step with them, you know, so they have a rep and what I do is, uh, I'll keep in contact with them and, and says, okay, you have any problems, you know, uh, you need my video to be slower, I will do a slower version, you know. Um, so I'll, I'll every single, every single step of the way to make them feel that hey, you know, I'm not wasting my money on on this hit rap, you know. So you use you use the digital sphere, social media yeah. feeds, but yes. you you besides well, I would call it software, besides mm. the cyberspace, besides yeah. tech, you use a lot of hardware because it's a very personable business. Yes, and that's because, what fashion you know, and beauty is, isn't it, guys? Isn't it a personable business? What do you think? Mm. Uh, Mona, what do you think? Is it a personable business? Well, I think so, you know, I mean, you know, before that, like when you said, you know, it's really your personality sells your business, mm -hmm. right? Like, I really do feel like that really is, is there's truth to that, you know? Yeah. And, you know, because like, you know, like, oh yeah, like, you know, just, I, we've met before on a different uh, stage before, but, you know, yes. but actually just even but you, it's true, you know, like you, you really shine, you know, and people do get interested. It's very engaging, you know, like, oh, what does she do? You know, I want to know yeah. her. I want to know her business. So I feel like it's, it's really important on how you make people feel. And, leave and do you, do you apply them. the same to your business, Mona? Do you definitely. apply the same? Concept? Yeah. Def do you definitely. feel that for you, it's also got to be personable. It's got to be hardware that you got to put. In oh, place. sure. You know, I have to say, as much as we talk about the CB when it was being placed and everything, and I panicked for like a week. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? My yeah. clients, like nothing's happening. We had huge fashion shows that was coming. So, yeah. yeah. And, you know, and I remember getting panic, you know, and nervous and like, how do I move from here? Because a lot of my, you know, network was also like attending events you know, meeting clients mm, and sure. very one -on one and things like that. So, you know, I did kind of had to think out of the box and go like, what do I do now? You know, yeah. and I was, you know, Instagram is one of the ways that I do market myself as well, but it wasn't like, oh my God, I have to create content every single day. You know, I have to figure out what to do. It was like, oh, I don't care if I have 20 likes, 50 likes, that kind of thing. But now it's like, I've noticed that my likes, because now my content is more, niche you know it's more mm -hmm. um um concentrated as to what i am doing you know so i think i, I think for me that worked in a in a good way as well and mm -hmm. even i've got clients already lined up for the next few months for makeup i've got um a shoot already lined up for um you know over the next couple of months obviously depending on how the circuit breaker goes and how you know mm -hmm. things 
well, but I felt like it made me up my game a little bit more, you know, and also being in the wellness industry as well. Like I teach every single day, you know, and I never thought every single day before the circuit breaker was even happening, you know, and even just being, being, using platforms like TikTok and I'm, I'm not the type yes. that like, <laughs> want to go on TikTok, but that is fun for me. And if something is fun for you, you are able to engage the audience. Yes. You know, yes. 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 Correct. Correct. <laughs> and it's very fun for me and you know like oh yeah you were saying like even just looking at your viewers you know everyone's like you should be doing this more we want to see more from you you know it's very yeah. motivating and encouraging yes you yes know? at the end of the day it's really not about your makeup or what you're selling or what it all of this anymore you know it's they want to know you and then from mm -hmm. there comes about like okay now we want to know what is she really selling yes it's easy to engage uh, things like that. Like now, I mean, I've been asked to do like live Facebook, you know, uh, wellness programs or yoga stuff, you know, and even makeup tutorials coming up, you know. So I feel like it's it's really a personable business here, you know. It's something mm -hmm. that you really got to, gotta you got to keep going, but you got to bring your personality to it, you know. Yes. Well, I'm glad to hear this. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that, you know, at least it's two of you so far have been saying, you know, positive things about the circuit yeah. breaker. It's great. It's, it's, I hardly hear this during with the other industries, but today yeah. I'm having bright, shining lights talking, you know, which is great, yeah. the positivity. And I think, you know, to sum this up, with what you just said, you two guys, uh, sorry, you two ladies have said, there's only two guys here, there's myself and Gary. <laughs> but, um, but I will just say this, that uh, I think more than ever today, people need to learn how to be to relate to yeah. people more than ever they need to understand that the personality has to sell there is definitely a need for us to learn how to be more personable to learn how to use mm -hmm. our hardware right yeah, and to learn yeah. how to really let it all just come out you know which is something yeah. i've always advocated and i think it's so true more so today because it's harder to sell your stuff on a screen it is already tough enough when you're sitting yeah. down face to face physically with someone to sell them something, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's harder yeah. now, but is it yeah. really? I, I, I think, I think, I think we got something here. I think there's, there's some great, bright, shining light somewhere now, right? That we can look towards. But Gary, how has it been? You said, yeah, my tailors are closed and all that, but what have you done? Have you done anything new? To, to make sure that, you know, the business uh, still, you can still shore up the business somehow during this time. For me right now, I'm just focusing more on image consultation, uh, whether it's one-to-one -one or company basis. Because when you talk about image, it's a very wide subject. It could be dressing. Uh, recently, I had this uh, tie-up with a speed dating agency. Now, everyone is going on to Zoom. But of course, speed dating, it's all about first impression. So mm. how do they dress up for a first first impression wow. for speed dating online? Yeah, you know something, man. Um, you know something, man. I got I got to interrupt you because before I lose my train of thought, because I'm getting old. Let me just tell you, if I were single, first of all, I would never go speed dating because this man, uh, no way, you know. But, 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 but hypothetically, if I did, <laughs> hypothetically, if I did, yeah. I mean, I'm too damn charming to go for that kind of thing, you know. I'm not the rest of the guys up. But the, the thing is, is that the thing is, is that if I ever did, you know, I mean, if I'm single and I ever did that, hypothetically, mm -hmm. and I know that Gary Fu is teaching these other guys to dress up, you know, the certain way. So I said, liars, these people. <laughs> <laughs> They're all looking good because Gary Fu told them to dress this way, right? Is it really real? <laughs> no, I don't think so. You know? You have I mean, come on, speak daily online? Seriously? Serious, serious. Uh, uh, okay, I, I've, I've been in one, in one of the uh, sessions with the uh, speed dating agency. You have seen guys in their own bedroom where the background shows their bed being very messy. And they are dressed in singlet <laughs> and their t-shirt. Serious. Wow. It's, uh, yeah, I would say that they so are just unaware and they have no idea. And imagine Gosh. that scenario, scenario where the guy wears the singlet with the bedroom and for the females looking at this guy, would they be interested? Practically, <laughs> no. Yeah. So I would come in to teach them uh, a new topic that I'm actually teaching them is like how to prepare yourself for a video conference. Yeah. Like wow. right now, although I'm sitting in front of you, 
I have a side light, I'm using the daylight and I'm using the ring light. So, you know, having this um, light versus this, there is a little bit of difference. Yeah. Absolutely. And of course, when, when you do online, you just need to dress up the top part, that's all. Because you <laughs> only see the top part, you, you won't see what's at the bottom. Yeah. Maybe More, you I know Chris up... is wearing a, a, a pair of boxes right now. Wait, wait. Oh. Mm -hmm. That one later. That one we'll talk about that later. Okay, I don't know. Don't worry. I have that plan in mind. I know the segue. Don't worry. But I, I would. But the thing is, is this. I, 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 maybe Gary should set up for your business. You set up a in EDM somewhere and say, if you're dumb and you want to go speed dating, before you do that, call me. <laughs> I mean, look, come on, man. That, yeah, it is right. If you're if you're a dingbat, if you're a dingbat. And you don't know how to present yourself to a lady for a speed dating thing, please, please, before you do anything, before you hit the darn button, call me. You know what I mean? I mean, because you know what I mean? That's a lifeline for the business. And I guess you're right. There's got to be some dingbats around who don't know what to do. And I, you know, I don't care because there'll be viewers and there'll be listeners say, wait, who are you calling dingbat? Who dingbat? Uh, you're, you're a dingbat. If you are really one of those guys, then you're a dingbat. Like, there's redemption. There's a guy named Gary Fu. You know? So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, the world's not short on dingbats, right? I mean, look, they got an orange president, never mind. Uh, <clears throat> did I just go there? Did I just go there? Am I going to get banned? Am I going to, is IMDA coming? Oh, did I say that too? Okay. Uh, now, um, now let's talk to, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. I, uh, I get carried away like sometimes. Last Alia, she knows I get carried away, too terribly yeah. carried away. Yeah, yeah, here we go, uncontrolled, yeah. Okay, um, Jen, yes. you're going to launch tomorrow. Well, yeah. How do you project the future of ULO, now that we're going to come out of the CV, I just yeah. wish they would just call it something else because, you know, nobody thinks about the abbreviations that would be so, that would have funny. <laughs> I, I really like Never mind no one about that too. Circuit breaker. It's I beg your pardon? Me. Circuit breaker? You think so? Is, you, you like it? No. You don't like what's called circuit breaker, right? Well, I understand when they say break the circuit, but, uh, but, you know, it's, it's still very okay. weird. Okay, okay, never mind. We're not going to be You get it ready for F1 lah. It still doesn't explain the reason why you're going to call something Circuit Breaker that gives you the abbreviation CB. Hello? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, duh, right? Now, uh, okay. So, the thing is, is this. Um, you're going to pounce back tomorrow. <laughs> You've been through this circuit breaker thing. We do know that there always will be possibilities of a second or third wave. God forbid, right? That could happen. Yeah. Now, what happens yeah. then? Do you have a contingency for that? Because you've had two months to plan. Mm, I'll, I'll be really honest. Um, before this thing happened, we have planned sets in motions that will grow Ulo in certain directions. That all got changed. Because uh, we, we can't, uh, we, we have to move with what the society is. We can't want to grow in one way where there are restrictions. For so you're staying nimble. You're staying nimble. That's what you're saying. Yeah, we're staying nimble. So okay. we have care to, to share that. Care to share that strategy? You mean my previous strategy? No, 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 no <laughs> current strategy. <laughs> huh? Current my strategy current... of staying nimble. Like I said, should we, you, you, as you've also said, yeah. Right, that your previous strategy cannot really continue mm -hmm. anymore. You got to come up with a new one, right? Because given that yes. uh, there could be a second wave, there could be a third wave. Who knows, right? Uh, there could be another circuit breaker that happens. Who knows, mm -hmm. right? I know for some people, like uh, like Mona, she's busier than she used to be. Am I mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True. yeah, busier yeah. than you used to be, right? Aliyah's happy with a circuit breaker because I mean, heck. What's the difference? I've been marketing my business the way I've always been marketing the business, right? Mm. So it's cool, you know. Gary, yeah, thank, thankfully he's got dingbats you can look at, right? But, <laughs> but for, for you, for Ulo, well, right? For is, Ulo, the platform, I think we, because we represent um, merchants and uh, mm. so in, in a way, because we represent the, an industry, mm -hmm. we are going to proceed cautiously because we cannot go against what the government has in plan. Yeah. We, yeah. we want to say too loud and then get banned because we say, no, you, no problems, no worries about the COVID-19. You can go do your hair, do your facial. We cannot do that. We have yeah. to be socially responsible as a platform as well. Sure, because sure. We yeah. have our 10,000 so 
So think what's, about, your, what's your game plan? What's your game plan? Should that would happen? Because you know you proceed can go back. slowly. I think it's proceed slowly. So we're beginning nimble. Our plans, our marketing plans, have now strung to really short durations instead of planning longer durations campaigns as as such. Um, and we're speaking to our clients, our providers one by one to see what they need. And we work mm. we work that way. We try we're trying to tailor. We have a very small team, so this is very hard for us. We're completely homegrown. We are local. We have a very, I have a very, very small team, which is less than five um, people in the team. That is excluding my tech team. We do, we do have a very small team. So it's really hard, but we're trying to reach out to all our providers and see what we can do for them. And uh, we are running, uh, we're starting to run uh, individual campaigns for um, our providers, our partners, and see what we can do. We can't roll out things that's really big that's too widespread because we don't want to be too hyper when we're not supposed to be hyper ah, there's wisdom there's, there's wisdom there there's wisdom there because you're being cautious about being prudent exactly because and, we and, are yeah. platform i yeah. love i love to hear alia and mona talking about their brands the personal side i would love ulo to be able to do that to do stuff to be more proactive and things like that but cannot lay because we are a platform and then i think um maybe maybe I'm being too cautious, so our team's being a bit cautious, but I think being a platform, I, I don't want to set the wrong tone sure. for our users and also for our providers. We, we want to still be, um, we want to support Singapore. We want to support our partners who are greatly severely impacted pretty much, pretty much during the entire CV, right? Especially after um, 24th of April, pretty much Ulo, Ulo is closed. For, because there's no yeah, one open. But, but let me do this yeah. for you. Let me do this for you. Let me do this for you. Um, right. You know, I, I, I'm an advocate for this. I advocate collaboration. Yes. I advocate unity in every sector. Yeah. We all have to realize a lot of lessons have been learned that the best way to move forward is people mm. coming together. Right. Yeah. So right now you're on my show and you've met Alia, you've met Mona, you've met Gary. Who knows what will happen Hi. after this, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Things get better when people come together. I mean, we cannot run away from that. It's a true fact. Yeah. Mm. Uh, that's my take and that's my humble opinion. But in any case, I'll do you another favor. Um, all listeners and viewers watching Kopi with Chris right now, um, and I know there's quite a number of you these days. Thank you so much. But I would just want to tell you, look out, watch out for Ulo because this is going to be one great platform. It's homegrown, it's local, support local, and make yeah, sure you yeah. get that app on your devices, okay? So don't worry about it. Listeners and viewers have watched this program and they have heard the message. Okay, so uh, uh, so don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. I think you're doing the right thing. Um, Gary, so besides the dingbats, is, are there any plans <laughs> moving forward? Well, for now, it's to do up uh, more plans for companies because um, when you talk about image, uh, like I was sharing just now, I have topics that I could touch on like shirts, ties, jacket, how to mix and match. And uh, like for example, Mona, when you deal with clients, you know that there's no two persons are the same. Everyone yeah, is yeah. individual, everyone is different. So yeah. there's a lot of things that I could actually share. Uh, towards whether it's one to one on a company basis, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, apart from that, I'm actually thinking to write uh, books uh, and sell it on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. So Amazing. first topic that I'll probably start on is for uh, guys who are plus size. Yeah. Because whether you are slim, skinny, or plus size, you still can look neat, smart, and presentable. That's not me. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you laugh. <laughs> I'm but that's not me. Okay. <laughs> yes. so, that's no, no problem. Sorry? Yeah. You got no problem. Of course, you got no problem. None of us here have that problem, right? I mean, come on. I promised half, you. Half. Uh, uh, sorry? Half, half. <laughs> I don't like you. <laughs> oh, when I did his suit, uh, he fell into the range that I, I didn't need to get additional fabric. Uh, so he's. In oh, thanks very much for revealing that too, Gary. Oh, but I think you need to right now because the sleeves are getting a real tight. You know what I'm saying? So it's the chest. But anyway. Uh, well, that's because your right muscles are getting bigger. Uh, I, I see. I like this uh, guy. He tells me things I like to hear. It's so nice. Right. Well, my, my mom always <laughs> tell me to tell, tell the truth. Yeah. 
Yeah, oh. that's the reason why your nose is so nice. So it's not big looking like Pinocchio. It's so good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> now, now, we were talking about suppliers, right? Being that they, they're having challenges. I have with me something really interesting. And I, 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 for the viewers at home as well, listeners at home, I've got to uh, I've got to read off the phone because I didn't write this. I just want to let you guys know there's some light at the end of the tunnel, somewhat, I think. So I told you, I don't know how you might view this. Um, seasonal trends will, con this is by GQ. Seasonal trends will continue to disappear as designers focus more on classic items that can be worn year round and stay on store shelves longer. The shift to more restraint, timeless pieces will ultimately give way to exuberance and access. Yeah, sure, because we, the world has seen that happen post World War II when uh, Dior's new look happened then. And then um, after the 2008 financial crisis, uh, Gucci's debut in 2015. And uh, then, yeah, the exuberance of, for, for more extravagant stuff happened. Um, but what's interesting is this. Um, fashion shows will get a much needed overhaul, right? Um, there's no need to be extravagant for that anymore. They will, be, uh, they, will, they, they will also be boring to watch online. So instead, brands will experiment with digital presentations and live interactions with designers. Storytelling around brands and collections will improve as a result, it already has. Um, fashion weeks will also become smaller. Deep-pocketed brands will fill seats with more influences, um, exerting yet more control over third-party co coverage. Um, no, let me see, there's some more shopping habits will change. With less disposable income, consumers will be more conscious of what they buy treating luxury items as investment pieces that will serve them for years or at least hold their resale value. The shift in spending from high-end handbags to health, skincare, supplements, boutique fitness classes are already on the rise pre-pandemic and this will continue to, 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 to rise. Online shopping will become more of a habit Similar to the 2008 recession, there will be more support for buying secondhand indirectly from small businesses who manufacture responsibly. Others will turn to fast fashion for cheap thrills. Ostentatious purchases, now Gary, this one you got to hear, will be out. F Leisure, which was losing its appeal, will be back in. So to quote GQ, we are living in the age of sweatpants and are never going back. <laughs> which brings me to wow. this, which brings me to this part of the show. And the, this part of the show will be this because, you know, every episode, I'm either in a t-shirt with a cap, baseball cap, and or sleeveless even to show off my ink. Today, because I know I've got glamorous people, I've got glamorous people with me on the show in fashion and beauty, right? I made sure I put on this beautiful jacket, uh, you know, by, by Source Studio, kind courtesy of Gary Fu. And you know, this <laughs> is fashion. <laughs> you only need to look presentable on the top bottom. Correct. It's still negotiable. Correct. And that's why sweatpants, man. Sweatpants. You know, I mean, it's going to be in. As a matter of fact, I think that's going to be so cool. But what's the good news in that entire thing I read for you? I, I read to you. And that is, that look, people, people are just going to be. I want to get the classic stuff back. I want to be able to, to just buy something that will last, you know? Mm -hmm. And maybe it's a good idea because Gary, for example, I know for a fact that some of his fabrics would be denim even. He makes denim full suits, you know? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And it's proper suits like this, but it's denim material. Stuff like that. You know, it's the, the casual thing. And it wasn't just started by Jobs and, 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 and what's his face from Facebook? <clears throat> yeah. And... <laughs> You know, it's, it's about that. It's about that, that the whole style is going to change as well. And you've read, I read to you just now uh, about, about how um, digital the fashion business is going to be. And Ulo is pouncing at the right time. Mm. Yeah. Right? So you guys are doing the right things. I mean, for example, the way I've, I've read this article, it's amazing what you guys said to me because I didn't read this to you but prior to you telling me this. And about how your, 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 the influencers will be more involved how your story is going to be like, content. Yeah, I know it's going to be tough, but you're going to get used to it. Yeah. If not already used to it. Yeah, it's amazing. I, I, I hear from Mona, like, 
I, I'm busy. I'm busier than ever. I think that's amazing. There's so many people out there who wish to goodness that they are busy. Mm-hmm. Right? The, yeah. Some people have zero income, zero business. But you guys, you guys are, hey, I'm okay. Even for Gary, I got a dingbats. It's fine. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know something? Just think about this. Think about this. Can, can I ask you, just before we end the show, yeah? Um, can I ask you? Yes. A couple of episodes ago, I said that, you know, there's a, there was a dental group that had in possession, in ownership, a few 3D plastic machines. And they were printing mass, no wrong, test kits, COVID-19 test kits, mm-hmm. helping out the medical yep. profession yep. by printing out these things, right? It was amazing, isn't it? All of a sudden, yeah. people thought 3D printing was so, such a cool idea, but nah, not many people went into that, right? But now, let me tell you something, that thing's going to fly. Now, if you have manufacturers who cannot produce this for you, for your purpose, no, I'm not talking about cosmetics, that's different, that, that's chemicals and all that. But yeah. buttons, you know, and stuff, right? Maybe you might want to get yourself a 3D printer. You know, so, so that's a contingency, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just thinking, contingency. What happens if Circuit Breaker 2 occurs? Or 3, because we have two of them, 3, right? CB and PCB. Oh, God. Yeah, so <laughs> it gets worse and worse the abbreviations, but... Never mind, only for the dirty minded. But the point is, is that um, if there's going to be a third one, right? God forbid, as I said earlier, mm-hmm. God forbid. But we need contingencies, right? We need to plug holes that just might happen. Correct? So maybe it's an idea, Gary. I don't know. You know? Well, I can always customize sweatpants. Yeah. <laughs> You, you don't know how, how many sweatpants I've got, mate. I use more sweatpants than I use suits these days because I go to the gym every other day, right? And, and yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe you could steer your attention towards, no, this is the new way of the world, you know? It's going to be sweatpants, people, you know? Or walk around in a jacket and a beautiful bespoke jacket and your boxer shorts. You know, I don't know, you know? But if, sell the trend, right? Uh, 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 who knows? I'm just... Just throwing it out there, just throwing it out there because we want to end the show on a good note. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with Gary and then we'll work down to Jennifer, then we'll work down to Mona, then we'll work down to then Aliyah. Okay? Give us your shameless plugs. Tell us, okay? Advertise your business on the show right now. Gary, at the count of three, you go. Now think of a tagline and all that. We can make it Song, song, eh? oh, shook, shook, eh? okay. Ready, ready. One, two, three. If you don't know what to wear, or you want to know what it's good for you, look for me. I'll make you look good. I even tailor out your clothes for you. Thank you. All right. Yay. Okay. <laughs> now, you ready, Jen? This uh, is your moment. Cause this is the pre pounds, you know. This is the one where you curl up already. Uh, tomorrow, then you let go, okay? But this is the curl up point, okay? Now, okay. at the count of three, yeah, just give it your best shot and mark it this. One, two, three. If you want to save money in this downtime, but you still don't want to sacrifice your beautiful hair services, beauty services, you need to download Ulo now. <laughs> Enjoy the savings that you can get only on Ulo. <laughs> I like this girl. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Tomorrow. Yeah, right. We'll try. We'll try. Okay, Mona, you you ready? Not really. Okay, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Yeah, yeah. Just let it roll. Let's just let it roll. And the count of three. One, two, three. So I'm your girl for your one-stop shop, Beauty Inside Out. www.monaoutersfree.com. That's where you want to find me, Beauty Inside Out. I will work you and just call me, message me, DM me, get on my website, and uh, I'll take care of you. Okay, so Mona's going to work you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we're going to go to the diva, the divine diva. <laughs> okay. Madam, um, at the count of three, one, two, three. 
ladies, you got to be confident. You got to work your style and wear different, different colors to brighten up your day. So follow me, Aliyah D. Reps, www.aliyahdreps.com. All right. And remember, Aliyah D. Reps is not a burrito shop, yeah? No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's urban also. <laughs> no, it's not urban. <laughs> <laughs> Different. I, I'm, I'm just quoting Chris, yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Now, now it's all me all over again, yeah? All me all over again. Okay, people, thank you so very much to you know, being on the show as my Kopi Kakis. Really, uh, it's been fun. I hope you had fun. I hope you found this. I hope this sound is like a real stress reliever, you know? Uh, having the opportunity to at least on this platform say something more about your business. Thank you for sharing your plans as well. Um, I want to tell all, tell all viewers and uh, listeners out there that's watching the show, please do remember to like, share, and subscribe Kopi with Chris on Happy TV. And remember, if you feel that you are not looking or feeling fabulous, regardless if you're a man or a woman, Maybe, just maybe, you just might need a shave. Until next time, this is Chris Hansen, and this has been Kopi with Chris. See you guys soon.